Hey guys, how's it going? So this is my first sit down video actually filming on the Nikon D5200. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to the screen being on the side over here, but so far I'm liking the quality. Today's going to be a really short video. Um, I have always prided myself on being very good with cameras, being very uh, safe with them, always keeping them protected and everything like that. But recently I've had an issue with this Sony Alpha A5000. So as you guys know, my Nikon D5200, the one I'm using right now to shoot this video, is my favorite DSLR. It's my filmmaking DSLR and I love it just because of the autofocus capabilities and all of the different manual settings that you can do. But it's big. It's a very big camera, and it's hard to carry cameras like that around to vlog every single day with you. I'm not Casey Neistat. So, this Alpha A5000, it's still a decent sized camera, and it was a mirrorless camera. Had the nice flip up screen so I could see myself, and it was just, it was perfect. 1080p, 60p recording. You guys have heard all about that before. Tonight, while I was getting out of my car, uh, I was going into Best Buy with my mom. And basically what ended up happening is I took the camera, it was on this Gorilla Pod right here, which I've already like customized it for it to just slide in. It was on this Gorilla Pod, right? This is my usual vlogging setup. I'll sit there like this, and I'll go like this and hold it out. I'll usually have the screen flipped up, and it'll be like that. That's my normal daily vlogging setup. Now... This is what ended up happening. I went, okay, I'm gonna go put this in your purse, right? So I put this at the top of my mom's purse, and it was leaning out a tiny bit. When my mom got out of the car, she didn't know that it was in her purse. She kind of like swung her purse around, and it fell to the ground. And if you guys can see that right there, the lens is a little bit broken on the top. Now, usually things like that wouldn't bother me, but the problem is that the camera is actually now not working. The lens won't go out anymore, and basically what this thing keeps saying is, if this will come up, basically what it keeps saying, so it says cannot connect to lens, and it cannot recognize it, and I need to attach it differently or whatever. So that's actually not the problem. The problem is that the lens is broken, so I'm going to have to take this into Henry's tomorrow. I have the extended warranty on it, so it's okay, but I'm not going to be vlogging for the next two days. I'm sorry about that. Usually I would go on and I wouldn't worry about it, right? I would continue vlogging and I would just put on a different lens or thing like that. But I can't do that because I can't risk not having this camera for the Great North video shoot. Because as you guys have heard before, so this camera right here, the one I'm using to record this video, the Nikon D5200. Right? That's the camera I'm using right now. You know, it's a big DSLR. It's not the easiest to lug around. So, I appreciate having this small camera. Now, the plan for the Great North video shoot was to have this Nikon D5200 right here. To have this as the main shooter that would be on the stabilizer and the slider for all the panoramas and things like that. This would be the somewhat medium length shot, just because I have a 100 to 500 lens for this. And then the Canon T1S would be the kind of would be the kind of uh, long panorama shots. But I can't do that if I only have this camera and the Canon T1S. So my top priority is to get this fixed. Um, I'm not going to be vlogging for the next two days, but I'm really sorry about that. And I just want to let you guys know. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, remember to smash that like button, comment down below, and become a part of Tech Nation by subscribing. Also, thank you guys so much for the support recently. It's been amazing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.